I've got to thank uh, Kathy for this because Kathy had this idea and she said, why don't you talk about the 10 top things that life athletes and anyone, frankly, uh, should not take for granted and should include in their life philosophy. I said, great idea. So one of the first ones she said is, it is okay to give yourself permission to do easy, to have easy days, to put less effort into your workout, to feel as though you're not pushing against the proverbial wall every single day, that life is somehow to be endured and you should be exhausted, and that if you are, somehow you're accomplishing something, and that that says something about you. I believe that early on uh, in my athletic career, that, that uh, living a life of everything being hard and the expectation that I had to endure things being hard and be tired and that that was proof that I was doing well uh, was not really working. Give yourself permission on a daily basis, whether it's within your work, it's within your relationships, it's within your workouts, it's within anything you're trying to improve and let there be a sense of ease. So that instead of having a hard workout, you walk around the block and you're okay with that. Instead of being productive all day long, you sit on your couch, you turn off your phone and for 10 minutes you sit quietly and yes, I know that that might not feel comfortable initially. That even if you've made the time to sit, your mind's going to be going, oh, I should be doing this, I should be doing that, I should be, I should be, I should be, I should be, I should, the shoulds, the list of shoulds get really, really long. And that's okay. There's going to be discomfort when you try something new that goes against the grain of the habitual way that you've lived your life. And it gets, frankly, it gets harder uh, as you get older because that's, uh, uh, it's a way you've lived your life for a long time. That I, the image we have of ourselves, the I am a go hard person that I can endure, that I can work really, really hard and do great things in this world. And you can, that's a good quality to have. And it's not going to go away. So if, you, if you're on your bike every single day for a month and you're afraid that if you take one day off, you're going to get out of shape, uh, that needs to be looked at. And that doesn't need to be the case. You can have an easy day and it doesn't say anything about you. It doesn't mean that you're lazy. Have a day where your exercise is actually easy, that you could talk to somebody through the entire time, as opposed to it's all or nothing. It's not black or white. So give yourself permission, feel a little uncomfortable. Matter of fact, let's do a little stretch to make an example out of this. So just an example of physically doing something easy and having it be enjoyable and having it be productive and useful. I see a, a person at the gym do this often. Like every time I see him work out, he grabs his foot and he's like this and he can barely breathe and he's making it so painful and so difficult. You know, it's just, it's painful to watch. I think, gosh, it would be so much better if he, if he were to know that, you know, initially he could just put his hand here and be able to talk to somebody next to him and say, well, okay, take a deep breath in, okay, relax, great. And then now let's go forward. And maybe medium today is going to be okay. But it's just that it doesn't have to be hard to be good. And he has, I know he has, because I've seen it in me and I've seen it in others. He has this thought that it has to be hard to be useful. And what I'm saying is that within the physical uh, world of, of being fit and, and uh, taking care of yourself that way, it can be easy and it can be profitable to you and it can be actually more enjoyable. And yes, there are days that you can put more effort into your life and into your body and, and, and into everything that you want to do better with. Uh, and there are days when you can do less and it doesn't say anything about you.
It doesn't mean that you're lazy. It doesn't mean you're unproductive. It doesn't mean that you're, you're being less than who you can uh, totally be. It actually is a broader definition of kind of being in a, in a wise posture in your mind and in your soul, if you will, of knowing that some days you can push hard and you're really good at it. And some days you can take it easy and you're okay with that too. So thank you, Kathy, for this. Um, really, really important. Please give yourself permission to do something easy every now and then and see if you can enjoy it. I know you can. Believe me, it was hard for me initially, but I got to being in a place where, hey, this is actually kind of fun. And those days when I wanted to push harder, you can, you can do that. I could do that then too. So anyway, permission to find easy and to enjoy it. That's one of the life athlete principles. And that's what I wish for you. And that's number one of the top 10 of things that you should not take for granted and uh, think about in your life of being a life athlete. See you next time and take good care of yourselves because you are the only one who can.